Kati ze chanzude Ne chuka chuka joyo ya boy Eri mikono jomwe njini According to Plato, a great philosopher in classical Greece, music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to imagination, and life to everything. Arguably, the soul of music has not traversed Uganda like it has in the last five months of 2018. And musician turned politician Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, popularly known as Bobby Wine, has been the embodiment of the soul. There is even more music life on the political space than ever before. The sad events of Aru on 12th August will forever linger on. Key aspects included the arrest and subsequent torture of politicians and legislators such as Francis Zake of Mitiana Municipality and Robert Chagulanyi of Chadondo East. This sparked a new wave of songs of resistance. Songs demanding government action, songs rebuking politicians and policymakers, songs carrying messages of change. As the rest of the world focused on the arrests and torture of the opposition politicians, some musicians took to what they know best, to compel the authorities to release Bobby Wine, himself not new to songs of resistance. Bobby Wine's driver Yasin Kauma was shot dead in Arua, in a scuffle that followed an alleged attack on President Choi Museveni's convoy. Shortly after, the news spread that Bobby Wine and others had been arrested and taken to unknown locations. This uncertainty rolled over for days until some of the suspects were charged in court in Gulu. But again, Bobby Wine was not among them. He was later charged separately in the court martial sitting in Gulu and remanded in March in the military barracks in Kampala. All this while, Bobby Wine's supporters and well-wishers were in tension, not sure about his health after reports that he had been severely tortured. <laughs> One of the most popular songs was in Shooting Babas's cover of Bobby Wine's song Situka Tutambuli. It was widely shared on social media and would later become a theme song as different singers recorded several other covers of the same song. Exploding with emotion, the song was clear. <laughs> Kati abantu buli omu yali munnaku kati nzenga omuyimbi era artist nendoza chi omuntu chayinza okola okuzza mu abantu amanyi kubanga nze bobu wine mu manyi ne manyoli bobu wine simanyi ono chagulanyi ali mu byobufuzi kati nze gwe manyi Ironically, this message of hope is what Bobby Wine himself sang for former FDC presidential candidate Kiza Besije when he was under house arrest after the February 2016 general election. <laughs> He strummed the guitar then to hurting a man who had lost the fourth election in a row and was confined to his home by the police. In short, is Uganda's new cover song bird famous for her well-tuned voice and guitar skills acquired a year ago. Stuka Tutambule remains a powerful song amongst the opposition and supporters of Bobby Wine's People Power Pressure Group. <laughs> Before Bobby Wine appeared in court, Justin Sekandi, a young musician also keen on politics, composed a musical piece, Empologoma Yemagiri, which came in handy with a unique traditional style, comparing Bobby Wine to a lion in the African jungle. Bobby Wine to the music, politics. The tune was successful, but Justin has another creepy version of the outcomes. Bobby Wine returned to Uganda on 20th September from the US where he sought specialized treatment. Justin claims she was arrested that day by unknown men while doing her usual errands in Kamo, Chakampala. She says the men demanded to know her relationship with Bobby Wine as they beat her inside a saloon car, which was driven to different locations, ending up in a hospital mortuary later in the night. Bobby Wine 
simusisinka na angana ko mkoma mula wa mwenye mba na kutivi na yenze gwe ni na mwesu ubi kata yenze sako la nsobi mwenye mbira Police couldn't verify this horrifying story by Justin who lost hope for justice but is committed to perform other songs emphasizing human rights. <laughs>